You need to be born at Liverpool probably to do that. It was not my idea. So I, the last when I saw the list the last time, then Divock was on five and, and Curtis on four. And when I when I saw the number four coming was Divock, then I thought, okay, obviously they changed it. <laughs> yeah, um, good good situation. Curtis has no issue with self-confidence, yeah? so that's um, <laughs> absolutely doesn't struggle in that department, um, and uh, so it's good, and really nice. It's absolutely nice. If you, yeah, I cannot say more about it. Really, I, I'm really pleased for him. Like I'm pleased for Queef saving that penalty. Pleased for Nico played an incredible game, giving the the, the assist to to Diff's fifth goal. Um, Queef in general, 90 minutes being there, conceding five, not really, cannot do a lot in, in most of the situations. Maybe the second one, not sure. I think the first one was offside. Um, second one could have looked different, but then, how I said, when you lose the balls where we lost them, then it's difficult to defend a counter attack. That what, what Sepp Vanberg, he played an incredible game, but in this situation, it's not easy to defend. And then you are center half, but concede five. But stay on track, play football, pass the ball, and all this thing. That's what is the most important thing, and I really like that. I, I don't want to take that for granted, to be honest. I, I, yeah, it happened now a couple of times. Um, but it has to be always special. So, And it was special tonight. Um, I, that was the... So the, I wished really for the boys that it... That I was very, I was absolutely convinced that we can give them a proper game. So that's why we, have, we, 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 we decided for that lineup. But of course, when you are then 3-1 down, we lost... <laughs> Two balls. We played really good football. We were three one down and played really good football. But we lost the ball in the wrong moments. We were too open in these moments. Um, and you cannot change that in the moment. You have to wait for half time. So you hope a little bit that it stays three one and then you can change a couple of things. Uh, but it was three two for half time, right? Yeah, we scored. Yeah, good. So that was good. Um, and then I just I, I enjoyed. Really, pretty much each second of the game, to be honest. I, I'm not. I don't know when I had last time so much fun in a football game. Um, so because I saw so many really good performances, I was so happy and pleased for the for the for the kids. Obviously, that they will remember their first night <laughs> for the rest of their life. And um, and in the end, they made it a, a proper special football night with yeah everybody who came tonight to Anfield. Yeah, saw 19 goals. That's pretty special, and um, so really perfect, absolutely perfect. Yes, as a manager, maybe I should I should think more or worry more about the goals we conceded, but I couldn't care less, to be honest. I couldn't care less tonight because the mistakes we made were obvious. For the Willow goal, we didn't make a proper mistake. <laughs> Only a little bit formation-wise, Harvey and. Rian changed the position. Rian wanted to defend that position was a bit too wide. That was the, the, the space where Willow got the ball and, and, and yeah, fires the thing in the in the in the far end and really good goal. But all the others we had a big hand in, I would say. But that's not important. It's about for development is the most important thing that you that you react in the right way, because a perfect football game all these boys can play, but. Um, a rather difficult football game. That's what we have to make them ready for. And it was a difficult football game, and they played. They worked their socks off and played their soul on the pitch. I really loved it. Dom, okay. Vinny, anything from you? Or you uh... Check out Nappies. Yeah, the only little shadow on eh? the ninth one, I'm not sure, but he, he slipped. I saw that, and afterwards he was limping a little bit, and now he said, eh, I ducked a little bit, so we have to see. Hopefully, not too serious. That would David. be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be now really crazy if I would worry about a boy, an 18 or 19 year old boy who then doesn't start the game and would be disappointed. It's a, well, probably he was, but 
after the game I only told him it's more important <laughs> really to be decisive as long as you're on the pitch and not who starts, who finishes the game and stuff like that. You have to do the right things when you're on the pitch. All the rest is, there will be, I'm not sure if we're disappointed, we have to ask him, but um, that's nothing I, I, I worry about because that's all part of the, part of the development. Yeah, that you have to, these boys, the, especially these, these extraordinary boys, um, they have like 95, 96% positive experiences in their career until they face the reality in adult football. So I cannot change the, the world. What I can do, I can try to prepare them as good as possible. If he was so disappointed, okay, not nice as human being, but then he didn't show it on the pitch and that's the most important thing. Sam, and then any final ones before we finish? Yeah? Uh, Jürgen, it's, it's rare to see a 16 year old uh, as, as, as well as he did at Albion. What, what did you make of his debut and what, a nice day to his home debut and, and, and your confidence in him as being very strong? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's easy to be. To be convinced about him when you see him training so that's really he is an exceptional talent absolutely and he's a nice nice kid as well so to see him how he encourages uh, um, the crowd around the corners is really <laughs> I had a couple of moments when he was really touched tonight to be honest so for a few moments that's really good and then when I was already in the dressing room and I, and I saw on, on the screen TV screen that he's still <laughs> doing his lap of honor and, and giving pretty much everything away that's just that's too nice um, yeah so how I can what I can say for tonight we can speak about them as long and as often as you want it's great, um, but they all have to they have to work. The, the, the younger you are, the longer your career will be, and you have to prepare, be prepared for that. But they to show these kind of to give these kind of signs they gave tonight this I think was really it was nice for the people I I, I think out there that um, they, they were on the bench there were a few really really good talents um, to be honest and. Um, I liked it. I liked it a lot. Yeah, he played really well. Really, not like you would expect a 16-year-old boy to play. That's cool. Okay, guys, was there anything pressing? Yeah, the side panel. I'm not concerned. Somebody else has to be concerned because we didn't make the fixtures. We didn't make the schedule. We, I, I said it already outside in a TV interview. That the FIFA told us we, the, world, the Team World Cup will be there. You have to come there. So we, we do. The Premier League tells us you have to play the Premier League, but we do obviously in the, in the Carabao Cup. Um, what we did tonight, and if they don't find a, 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 a place for us, an, a, an appropriate place, not three o'clock at Christmas Day or some in the morning, in morning 3 a.m. or at, at Christmas Day, then then we don't play it. So, but they have to make that. You have to think about these things. That you have a fixture list where one team cannot be part of all the games. Then you have to think about a fixture list. And hopefully it starts at one point. Hopefully it starts now. I really think that's fair. That this problem is obvious now. But we will not be the victim of this of this um, problem. We played tonight. We wanted to win it. We, wanted, we did that. If they don't find a mo if they don't find a, a proper date for us, then we cannot play the next round. And whoever's our opponent will go through. Or Arsenal plays it. I cannot change that. But we only we ignored that problem completely for tonight. I think a lot of people from the Premier League were sitting in front of the television, hoping that Arsenal can do it. But I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Yes.